Welcome back to the vlog channel. All right, talk about continuity. <laughs> Yes, I'm bringing the vlogs back. Two years ago, I stopped vlogging for a while to sort of reflect on how this vlog channel was going. I didn't really like making videos that were just the same thing over and over again. So now this vlog channel is gonna be super casual. I'm gonna be making videos about all kinds of stuff, not just percussion things but things like my new car. Yes, I know today's video was supposed to be about my new car, but I'm sending the car off next week to get paint corrected and ceramic coated for long-term protection, as well as a few other small tweaks that I think make the car look a little bit better. And then I will show you guys the car. And yeah, don't worry, there's gonna be all kinds of other stuff on this channel too. I'm gonna to be talking more about Cantonese because I realized that that Cantonese video I made as a joke like five years ago has blown up a lot more than I expected. It's really embarrassing because in that video, I can't actually speak Cantonese. <laughs> I didn't know any real Cantonese back then. Now I can speak it relatively okay because I've self-taught myself. So maybe I'll make a video about that. Maybe I'll make a video about my watch collection. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to make videos about. Very little editing, as you can see. I literally just botched this setup up in about 30 seconds. <laughs> but yes, today's video is an unboxing video because I got this package recently from none other than Gary Burton. Yes, the one and only Gary Burton. I did an interview with him that you can check out over here and it was just a lot of fun. Basically, Gary is one of the greatest vibraphone players ever. He's been around for a long time and he's retired about three years ago. So he was browsing YouTube and he stumbled across my studio channel and we just started chatting and I'm really, really excited that I got to do an interview with him. We're probably gonna do another one maybe next month. I've wanted to see him for so many years, but I don't have the money to fly to America that regularly and he's retired now. So it was just nice to chat to him in a really casual manner about all kinds of things and he was nice enough to send me a package and I think I know what this is, but I'll keep you guys guessing as I grab the knife. Interestingly enough, Gary actually sent this to me via UPS Priority and even in these pandemic times, it still came within two days, which is really fast for USA to Australia mail. Thanks for doing that, Gary. I'm so excited. Ready, ready, ready? All right, well, as you can see, we have mallets and we have a book. Yes, this is very, very exciting. I love that Gary used these very fancy sandwich bags. Here we go, here's the book. Wow. So I've seen this book before online and it's just awesome to have an actual copy now. It's Learning to Listen, The Jazz Journey of Gary Burton, which is his autobiography. And now I have an actual copy of it, which is awesome. I didn't know he was sending me this. So thank you so much, Gary. And look at the front cover. Gary signed it saying, to Adam, I hope you enjoy my stories. Gary Burton, oh, that's, that's awesome. Even though I know a lot of these stories already from doing my own research and chatting to Gary. Wow, look at these color photographs and scans of programs and rehearsals and, oh, Gary as a child. Look at that. If you're looking for this book, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You can also get it as an ebook. It's not very expensive at all and it's very nice and small. So you can bring it with you if you take the train and you want to have a read of a very fascinating person's life. I mean, look at the people on the back. There's a, there's a quote from Sting on the back of this book. Like, And yes, this book was voted Jazz Book of the Year. So I'm very excited to get into it. Now, and here we have some Gary Burton mallets, but these aren't just any Gary Burton mallets. These are Gary's last performing mallets. Oh, this is a piece of history right here. I, I probably shouldn't even be touching them, but you can see Gary signed each mallet and these are very original Gary Burton mallets. These ones don't even have the words Gary Burton on them. They say 10301. Does that mean 3rd of October 2001? Are these mallets that old? That's awesome. So yeah, these are unmarked mallets and then these two have the more modern Gary Burton M25 marking on them, but they've all been used quite heavily. You can see there's a lot of mallet wear on them. I believe Gary said he used these on his last tour with Makoto Azone, which is just... Okay, that is ridiculous. Like this is like a museum piece. They're like way too precious to play with. So these mallets are no longer just mallets. They are collector's items. They've been used by Gary himself in the last final years of his touring. And I'm never gonna make these touch an instrument probably because we all know what Gary Burton mallets sound like, but these are no longer mallets to be played. They're mallets to be treasured. I'll probably put them in an exhibition case or something. Oh, thank you so much, Gary, for sending me these mallets and this book. Like, honestly, this is just, Unbelievable. Really, really special to be holding these in person. Wow. 
So yeah, today's video was just supposed to be an unboxing of these mallets and the next few videos are going to be, like I said, all about all kinds of random stuff, including my new car. <laughs> and yeah, in the last two years, my studio channel has grown a lot more. So the studio itself has grown more. It's also kind of messy at the moment. So I don't want to show you too much of it just yet. But maybe over the next few episodes, you'll see a little bit more of how this space is doing. And I hope you guys are doing well also in the current world situation. In Western Australia, we have quite low cases. We have usually zero cases or sometimes one or two cases. So fingers crossed it stays that way. Um, but I know some other places are not so lucky. So wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, wash your hands. Uh, wear a mask if you are able to and yeah if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and let me know down in the comments below if there's any kinds of videos you'd like to see on the second channel that have nothing to do with percussion <laughs> preferably and yeah thank you to some of you guys who've been sticking with me since the very early vlog since i started in 2014 even i know some of you guys have been watching since my uni days which is like really strange right to see me growing up slowly through the videos but yes, thank you so much for your support and I hope to make more interesting vlogs as we venture into the second season of my vlog channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.